Hi guys, today I'm gonna read The Gift of Juma, and also this is not a story, this is just um, a, a good book that will, uh, uh, that will tell you about lots of things, and also guys, if you are wondering why are we reading this, so then, we're actually reading this because this book is for all ages, third. From toddlers, not toddlers, I mean kids, teenagers, to adults. Any age group, from 1 to 99. And also, you guys are going to be a lot happy. And if that's not guaranteed, I will be sure that this video will get one like. And also, guys, I have to just say one thing that you guys are going to be really happy with this book because the pictures are very beautiful. So you want to be, you want to be, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. Okay. Okay, let's do this. The day of Juma, which falls on a Friday, is a very special day for all Muslims. It is a little weekly Eid for Muslims. We should take, we should clip our nails and take a special bath called the Ghusl. On Juma, we, um, on Juma, Muslims should try and wear clean clothes. For those who have a new outfit, they should try and save it until the day of Juma. Women and girls should try and attend the Juma prayer if it is possible. Men and boys should wear nice smelling perfume to the masjid. We should try and be the first ones to get to masjid as the angels sit at the doors writing the names of the people as they enter. The earlier we get to the masjid, the bigger the reward will be. For the Juma Salat, the Imam of the Masjid reminds the people about Islam. This is called the Khutbah. The Imam talks about various topics that concern the community and advises Muslims about how they become closer to Allah. It is very important that we listen to the Khutbah and we should not talk through it. So, this means that the khutbah and that we should not talk through it means that when the imam is speaking in the khutbah then we should not interrupt him by saying any words so that means you have to be quiet the whole time once the imam completes the khutbah he leads the people in Juma Salat, which consists of two rakas instead of four rakas. On Juma, we should try and do extra good deeds. For example, read the Quran, do dhikr, and pray extra prayers. One thing we should try our very best is to do to send salam on Prophet means. Also, guys, uh, for kids, there's one, f me, uh, if you guys want to know how we are going to do Salam on Prophet Lawson, the best, the last prophet and the most noble out of them. So actually, my meaning of uh, putting Salam on Prophet Lawson means that we have to recite the Rood Sharif in order to make salam to Prophet Lawson. To send salam means to send blessings on the Prophet Lawson. Okay, this is what this is. Uh, this is the Rood Sharif. This is actually the Rood Sharif, guys. Now. If you guys want to read this, then I'm just going to be pausing it for a, 
I'm gonna just be uh, just uh, stand, just uh, just stopping it here. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim inna kami do majid. O oh Allah, bestow your favor on Prophet Allah, peace be upon him, and on the family of Prophet Allah, peace be upon him, as you have bestowed your favor on Ibrahim, peace be upon him, the f uh, and on the family of Ibrahim, you are praiseworthy and most glorious. There are many duas that we can read to do this. Allahumma barak ala Muhammadin Muhammadin wa Wala Ali Muhammadin Kama Barakta Ala Ibrahim Wala Ali Ibrahim In Naka Hamid Majid. O Allah, bless Prophet Allah and peace, peace be upon him, and the family of Prophet Allah and peace be upon him, as you are blessed, Ibrahim, and the family of Ibrahim. You are praiseworthy, most glorious. We should also try to read a Surah at Kaf. On the day of Juma, Surah Al-Kaf is the 18th Surah of the Quran. So, meaning by the uh, 18th Surah of Quran, that means it was the 18th Surah uh, revealed to revealed in Quran. I don't know why there is a. Also. This is where it got revealed. I don't know if this is where it got revealed, but comment down below if you think uh, this is where it got revealed. It's just showing. The reward for this is that a light shines over your, you know, over you from one Juma to another. Finally, we should try and make lots of dua between the times of Juma and Asar as a Allah does not reject a dua made at this time. We should ask Allah to make us good Muslims and forgive our mistakes and help us to achieve paradise. Insha'Allah. Facts to Juma. Friday is the best day of the week for Muslims. The last day, the the day of judgment will be on a Friday. The, ver the very first prophet of Islam, Prophet Adam Islam, was created on a Friday. Muslims get together and meet other Muslims on a Friday. Guys, this is just a coloring activity, but coloring activities might take long, so we're just going to skip the coloring activity. Okay. I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm and I'm also happy with you that one of my videos got 250 views and we just earned 40 subscribers. We, <laughs> we just got uh, a lot uh, some subscribers. And also, yeah. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that notification button to miss out and no, no videos. And also, don't forget, make the Make dua for the person who sent you this video. And also. Okay, never mind. Allah is guys. Hope you have a good day because you're the best Muslims.